Hello, everybody. This is Prince of Thieves. My name is Igrash. I'm here with Sizor. The lands have been corrupted. The lands have been corrupted. The lands are corrupt. Aruman is corrupting the land. Screwing up everything. Every time I hear that name, it makes me think of Digimon. It sounds like a Digimon name. Aruman. Aruman. Stealing the light seats. Aruman is a champion. That is a Digimon thing. That's funny, Adam. Digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. I, I only know the theme probably, song. I've never seen a single episode. Well, of it. yeah, it's <laughs> it's probably the most memorable thing about the show. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely true. Oh man, it looks like I'm running back to the same area where I was. I probably just have to cut through, get to a different part. Sure. Mm-hmm. She still got no shoes? I think you're just think wandering so. aimlessly. Yeah. Well, if no shoes? I don't know. I couldn't tell them if yes, no shoes. Yeah, she still got no shoes. Uh, but I do, I do okay with the parkour in this part, I think. Yeah. I I think this looks pretty, that looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I guess. You look smooth yeah. now. You don't mm. look like you have to think about what yeah. you're doing. Well, you know, it's hard because we do all these commentaries and, like, um... You know, when I record it, it's just like an hour of you playing it, but that's like, you know, five parts, so we're what you know, <laughs> it doesn't feel like much when you're playing it, but then when you're watching it all back, it's just like, <sighs> anyway, right. I don't even know yeah. what I'm saying here, yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> different, yeah. Uh, so are we going to find some Zerg? Do you, oh, I was going to say, how do you know which fork to go, and there's your magic mm -hmm. glowy ball to follow. Mm -hmm. Just press Y. Life and turns it on. <clears throat> I like those little. I like that little mechanic they added with the slide down these ramps. It's yeah, pretty sweet. it's not always easy to tell if you're gonna slide. It's that the one in the middle there was flat, and it's, but yeah. Oh. But you know what I mean? Like you know, like that's a slidey. I think yeah, it is. Yeah, but it looked this flat one. And, yeah, and, you yeah. can't really tell. <laughs> Man, this that claw grab scramble is pretty good. It is it's. Good. It's just, you defy gravity so much, it's so sexy. <laughs> wow, I love this. This is fantastic. Uh, the city was given to the warrior? Of course. Oh, so now now we're going to fight the warrior who's a friend mm -hmm. of Ahriman. Yes. Well, it was said in the battle with Ahriman. I don't, was he battling Ahriman? Who knows? Let me guess. He's standing I think we're delving now. too deep into yes. the story of this game. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows where he is. But I did talk to him. Oh, oh, that's funny. The good, the good deity is just somehow missing. Yeah, he's just like you know, not there. But we must have faith. <laughs> oh, he left a Hura. A Hura's in this game. I didn't realize. I didn't know that either. She's breaking all kind of boundaries. <laughs> Racial boundaries on television, video games. And Uhura. She walks in beauty like the night. That's not Spock. Gods of Yeah, life. even <laughs> even she broke the boundary between two fictional universes. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Whoa hey, that was, that was a yeah. neat little segment. That was a new that was new. That was um, new, yeah. Oh. There's divines, script divines, Grab divines. Time divines. So yeah. Is it too early to talk about Voyager or some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just all I think about. I haven't seen it in a few days. I've been, like I said, I've been doing DS9. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I, w I just watched DS9. I saw this. I just watched the episode about, uh, you know, the creationism versus evolution, you know, science versus religion episode with Keiko oh, and uh, the like Vedic the win. Oh, yeah. That's just like the Voyager episode with the dinosaurs. <laughs> Which is horrible. Oh my goodness. The fucking dinosaur episode. Never should Oh, be dude, don't touch the creep. That creep, that creep kind of reaches out yeah, at you. Yeah, it does. I don't know if it actually will hurt you at all. Like, I don't think Warrior. I will. Warrior! Come out and play. Oh, <laughs> guy with honor. Yeah. So, speaking of DS9, did you ever see uh, Becker, that sitcom? Your honor. 
Yeah, I know. That's where she went. Why do you keep telling me these things we, we've know. already discussed? Speaking of Becker, because of Dax. Did because of Dax? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Becker. Seen I think Becker? my mom used to watch Becker. I liked it a sure. lot. When I was Somebody in my immediate family liked Becker. Yeah. Ooh. We used to watch Becker in your dorm room in, uh, Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Harris really liked it, yeah. Morris. Yeah. He had a silly sense of humor. Oh, Magic Girlfriend. Oh. Oh. I like how you, like, put your shoulder behind her and, like, pushed. That was yeah, cool. it is cool, yeah. Lean on me when you're not strong. It's like the tandem sets. <laughs> How are you supposed to deal with this dude? I don't know. Oh, yeah. He almost falls. So you push him oh. off the edge. That's, I think, we're about push him off the edge. And... Oh, heck. <laughs> and he just conveniently is able to flip off the body as it falls. Well, I don't think we'll be seeing any more of him. He went the way of the Emperor here. in Star Wars. <laughs> That's all you could say? Was that was scary? Really, bro? <laughs> that was scary. I don't know. Uh, come on, okay, say it. Okay, so... <laughs> you're, like, repeatedly downing these mini-bosses mm. fairly easily. Does the difficulty ever increase, or...? What? I chat. There's no difficulty. It's just start game is all that's there. So this is, this is the game. This is it. Wow. Get harder so you this. think you're supposed to roof run underneath to get those two layers? Uh, yeah, you, I like never bothered are... to get those, I don't think. Oh. Yeah, I have no clue. But some of the... Oh. You know, it's hard. Ooh, yeah, it's a little tender. Can you see a way out here? <laughs> no, some of the light seeds require you to have powers that I don't have yet. You know what I mean? So, like, they want you to come back oh, yeah. to areas and farm okay. them later. So, it's kind of like a gamble. Holy like, do, do I spend slowly. my time trying to... Trying to farm oh, it. No, you should I just have the power. Yeah. Just get what I can and move on. Why am I in the menu? All right. Oh, I finally menus. turned off the tutorial text in part eight of the or seven of the game that oh, we're goodness. in. See, I told you when you're recording it, it doesn't feel like it's a long time. Um, yeah, I just finally turned off the tutorial text. Hmm. You know what's awesome about that? Mm -hmm. Just fix it in post. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Yes, the me. magic girlfriend. Me. Oh, yeah. all right. Oh, man. He, don't thank Ormazd. He won't even stand up for himself. <laughs> well, I think she gets his power, her strength with him. But he does seem to be a pretty useful. Uh, I, I think she's him. getting her strength from all these light we're procuring yeah, for true. her. The last time she, uh... Oh, that was hell. That was hella good. Yeah, yeah. The music. We're back to the Warcraft music. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, Grab that was sick. I yeah. like that. See, I'm getting better. See? See, if we do more anodyne, it becomes less painful. Believe it or not, it actually does. I don't have time to like practice these games and then play them through again and record them. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this straight up real here. It's straight up real. I just flick it on and press record. Flick it on and press record? That sounds like <laughs> the beginning to an amateur porn. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me think of Dennis from It's Always Sunny with his like 24 7 camera yeah. in his bedroom. <laughs> Oh, it's all the same angle? Yeah, <laughs> it's just balls. <laughs> <laughs> just balls. That is disgusting. Who likes that? Who finds that sexy? That I don't know anybody. Other balls okay, and please. assholes? Oh, man. 105 light seeds. Did I spend them when I bought that power? Did I, have I collected 100 I don't more since then? I don't think I so. Yeah, Do they no go way. away? See, I, I don't know. I don't think 60 went it. away. Yeah, there's no way. There's no, no way we're, I mean, that many. yeah, for sure. I also wonder Forest why there's stuff. a maximum amount of light seeds to collect. Just so there's a threshold so you can't unlock all the powers and only have done the first area or something. Maybe. 
Uh, well, you think they would limit that by where they put the light seeds and how many they put where? Oh, yeah. Whoa, am I gonna pull this off? Holy crap! That was <laughs> sexy. Dude, am I gonna pull this off? Oh man, I saved that. That was ridiculous. Yeah, you did. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah. There was a lot less of that in Prince of Persia, Saints of Time. Yeah, you know, the acrobatics of this are more fun, I felt like, just because it's more fluid. It's more natural. It's not like... Saints of Time is like a special action button. And then, and here, like, the jump button is the same as the wall run, is the same as the, you know... But like in Sands of Time, you'd have to press jump, press special action, right click, you know, in order to do like one move that in this game is just one button. So, so is this game Sands easier? Sands of Time is brutal yeah. <laughs> in StarCraft 2. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, there you go. So I guess I'm deciding where to go? I don't know. I'm having some, I'm having a uh, existential crisis here at the fork in the road. <laughs> existential? I doubt it. <laughs> Perhaps you're uh, just confused. Yeah. Do you ever, uh, did you ever read oh, any, like... Oh, we got creep. Yeah. Did you ever read any existential, like, you know, philosophical... Well, like Kant? Authors? Yeah, like him or Nietzsche or um, Wittgenstein to some extent. Mm, no. Did you have to ever read that at Wabash? No, maybe in CNT, but you know how frequently right. I went to that. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think we did much. Well, that was more about culture than it was about like deep philosophy. But yeah, I, I really like existentialism. Everyone like it's just commonly known as that philosophy that's like depressing, but it's totally not. Like it's the opposite of that. It's like liberating because there's no like you know it's a. I guess what is most commonly known for is atheism, right, in popular culture, right, that's what people... And like, you know, well, if there is no purpose to anything, then what's the point? But it's more about, like, you know, forging your own purpose out of, you know, circumstances and blah, blah, blah. I'm in. Oh. All right. See, I don't really, you know, you know like I never took people, any philosophy, so... Yeah. People often think of it or characterize it as, like, depressing or there's no hope or there's no point in life. But that's not Isn't at all. Isn't that like case. nihilism? Yeah, I mean, I think nihilism and existent they're equated too much. But from what I mean, and I of course, what is clear from my conversation here, I have only a cursory knowledge of it. But <laughs> but it is a, a philosophy of liberation, of freedom from you know external control on your morality and your uh, your thought processes, your actions, your relationship. <clears throat> But this is fairly we'll deep uh, commentary, considering. Well, yeah. You know, it's <laughs> oh, look! There's those cool plat. There's that cool mm -hmm. charge plate. Get ready for like some cool charge plate action coming up next time.